Hey guys, welcome back to the Brasher CZ YouTube channel. I'm Brandon. As you can see, we have a new Twin Hammers here. Um, at least that's what I believe it is. The guy I bought it from didn't know anything about it. He didn't know what it was. But I just picked this thing up for $20. Yes, $20. And um, the screws aren't there, so I'll just have to source some. But it's got a brushed motor, two-speed transmission that works. I already tested it. Um, the shocks definitely don't feel oil-filled. They're just super springy. And in the front, they are. But, yeah, super, super fun. I was driving it. The spur gear is super loose, though, so uh, we definitely need to tighten that. Pop this cap back on when it's done. Take it back out for a spin. And hopefully that is the only issue of why it wouldn't work. He said there's a steering fault, too. And, uh, but I didn't notice anything um, glitchy with it. He said he's never charged this LiPo, which... If you guys didn't know, that's horrible for them. But so far, it's turned on and it's worked. Um, it's been pretty fun to drive, actually. It's not that slow either. Um, I know Flip That Truck has taken uh, like forever to get back on um, on the channel. But um, here it is. Here's our Flip That Truck. I bought it for $20. Um, we're going to tighten that spur gear, fix the four-wheel drive. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned that, but the front wheels do not work. I mean, obviously, they spin. But like... They don't spin under the motor's power. Every drive shaft up here and stuff spins, so that's not it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's either something up in the wheel nut, like right in here. Oh, yep, they're broken. <laughs> so uh, they're going to need some two of those. I don't know how both of them are broken, but um, yeah, so two of those, and then we'll be good. Maybe I just need to pop them back in place, so we'll just look. Alright guys, it's the next morning. I got the body screwed on, so now it's not in clump. Um, the slipper clutch is still a little loose. I got these pieces in, so now it is four-wheel drive. Um, so I just need to figure out that slipper clutch because I tightened it down, but for some reason it's still, the transmission is a little loose, it feels like. So maybe I'll have to tear into the transmission and take it off and stuff. But um, yeah, the suspension is pretty good, ready for jumps. That's as low as it goes, um, even with the thing. So it shouldn't bottom out, it shouldn't scrape up all that bad. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's a it's a good truck for bashing. I think because um, it should be it shouldn't be too slow. So um, yeah, I can't I can't wait to drive it and then sell it and see the profits. Because look at that articulation. It's a crawler, but it's also a basher. Like that's on four sets of foams and it can oh no that's maxed out that's perfectly how much it can do so um but yeah that's just absolutely crazy um yeah alrighty guys so i've got all the trucks lined out on the table i've got this one which uh i actually did fix off camera forgot to record it but um yeah so now it is up for sale this one doesn't have any plans of le leaving for quite a while um still want to do some more trail run videos with it still need new mirrors because those ones are broken um this truck i'm actually selling because the um remote and receiver stopped working so i put a new one in and i'm just trying to make some money back on it then i'm just going to buy a new one that probably a brand new one that has a truck body already so i don't need to worry about that and then that truck over there still brand new i've only driven it a few times probably two or three times um, so yeah, these are the main four, my main favorite ones. Um, this truck looks so good, especially now that it's got, um, oh yeah, I did fix the shocks, so now they don't stick, so I might not need new ones. But now that it's lowered with the bumper, the fender flares, um, new tires are still on the way, because these ones do have a hole in it, all of them do for some reason. Um, well, actually not all of them, just the front two, I don't know why. Um, but got the motor and ESC running and i drove that around in my street for a little while drove this one earlier still haven't driven this one because i don't want it to break anymore before i sell it i did put a new traxxas remote receiver in it there's the remote for it um that one just got a standard red cat one fly sky this one's got a spectrum this one has a futaba with a digital screen so oops so um yeah, we don't need to worry about anything else. We just gotta get that leaf out of there. Uh, this one, I kind of like it. I don't know if I'm gonna sell it. If I get the right offer, I will. 
Uh, this one definitely not going to be leaving for a while. That one might be leaving. That one not leaving for a while either. Alrighty guys, so after a little while of filming, or not filming, I'm just chilling. This truck got dropped off. I just bought it. It's got a metal bumper. Doesn't feel like a metal bumper mount because of all the play in it. Um, it's got the same axles, uh, axles actually as uh, Mean Green. I just put it right here so you could see. Same exact axle, just different colors. I got the silver one for Mean Green because I thought it looked better. And then we have the red and black ones over here. Um, this is a Charisma RC crawler. This is what I'm going to build into the tow rig because I actually drove it. I know it works. Um, so I'll probably end up keeping the Gen 8. Um, I'm going to get a different body though because that ain't going to fly. Like, you know, that's not going to fly. So um, definitely going to get a different body for it. It is a shorter wheelbase, unfortunately. Um, it's not a 12.3. I think it's like a maybe 11 point three or something i don't even know i'll check uh but yeah it feels like there's some play these shocks are super beefy like look at those shock shafts see how thick they are then look at these ones on mean green like these are just some beefy beefy shocks so um they feel actually really smooth so no no bad sounds coming from them no leaks that i'm noticing um tires feel pretty soft just gonna put some bead locks on them um, instead of running glued tire or glued wheels. So I already have a set of bead locks. Ooh. I already have a set of bead locks for it. I just got to unglue them, which I hate doing and should be ready to go. All right, guys, I put some new tires on here that are smaller. I'm going to lower down the body, but first I'm going to get a new body so I don't have to deal with all that again, you know, but, um, I don't want to make this video too long. You guys saw a couple new trucks in this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Share, comment for new videos. Uh, tell your friends to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.